Castlevania 4 too. Yeah, Castlevania games are awesome. Were they all like um, side scroll, or were, were there any that came out that were 3D? They're all side scroll, right? Oh, the later ones were? Oh no, fish! Oh, I hate these little things. Dude, there's like a ton of these fish too. So that's all that matters. Three D ones were pretty bomb. Yeah, I, didn't, I played most of the all the side scroll uh, all the side scroll ones. I, I never played any of the three D ones that came out later. Oh no! Don't fall! Don't fall! Jackpot. Let's actually speak with one of your men. Corporal Keys reports to you. I believe according to the morning duty officer, Keys has been making his way to the basement, meeting with the royal inter interrogator. I have no idea what they discussed, but it's been reported that Keys has his an interest in the occult. Either way, I'm on the overseer, so I don't give a fig for how he spends his time when he's not on duty. But keep him away from the torture. The basement is off limits to our men. So, obviously that was important. It gives me the torture's chamber. Kill the torture. So, there's another target for me to kill. We'll go ahead and try to make our way to the basement, wherever that is, I'm guessing down. <laughs> I haven't found any um, runes yet, which really sucks. Uh, I think that one's pretty close, actually. This one's 101. I think I might have passed that. I think 3DS ones are pretty bomb, or DS ones, my bad. Um, yeah, I never. Yeah, I don't like handhelds. <coughs> Not that I don't like them, I just don't really have time to play. What? No, 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 don't see me. Close to it. This whole place has gone to the house. 
Dude, I had to. Don't judge. So yeah, with the innocent people, I don't know if that, I don't know if that changes anything. I just had to kill her or else she was going to give me away, so. Normally you can like choke them out. And I ended up kind of getting, um, I ended up hitting the wrong button. I was just hitting my little, my little scope instead of, I guess, obviously choking her out. <laughs> Gabe, I totally forgot that, um, go to Dunwall Tower Interior. Oh, we're going to go ahead and stay here just because I think there's a room here still. I'm going to try to get it. Dang it. So let's go ahead and try to grab that and then I'll, now I know where to go for the, uh, let's see where this thing is. Oh yeah, Rainbow Six is out, man. I, I totally forgot that it came out today, or the first dude where is this room Alright, cool, man.
Nice. I mean, I didn't even know that you could. I didn't even know that you could dis uh, disarm those guys. So. I don't know how to get into that building. I think through there. So maybe, maybe the rune is in this building. Well, this is the Dunwall Tower. So I guess we'll just head in right now. And one sec. So yeah, Gabe, if you want to grab me a uh, Rainbow Six, man, that would be awesome. That would be nice of you. So I think we're almost there, folks. We're at an hour 15. I'll try to push something on. Nice. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and push through this evening. Um, let's go ahead and get this done. What time is it? 8.44, so yeah, um, try to push through to this, that way we can go ahead and start Mad Max. Find the Lord Regent on the rooftop. Oh, you know what? <laughs> so that objective, I'm not sure if I had a, I had an optional one. Find the broadcast control station, visit the torture. So I'm not sure if that's all. Let me head back real quick because I'm not sure if all that stuff is out here. Um, the, the exterior control station, I believe, is for sure. So I'm going to try to sneak up on that crazy little robot dude. That way I can kill him at least, get him out of the way, and then we'll, uh, we'll try to see if any of those tasks are in here, any of those optional ones. This guy is just really hard to... Basically, I have to sneak up behind him. That's awesome. Now I have kind of a little bit more room to kind of have a little bit more room to play with. People! I wonder if Connor's ever played that. I think I had asked him before, and I don't think he's ever played it, man. But I haven't played a lot of the games that he's played, so... Epo! I guess I have to place this. I wonder if that'll work. Let's try to get them to follow me. Whoa!
That was that was before Reha. They kind of pushed the envelope as crappy as that game was. No, man, I mean, you know, for back in the day, I think when it actually came out, because even when I first played it, I think that game was, um, I think it had been out for a while, so, yeah, I liked it, I mean, I'm not really too picky with games, that definitely kept me busy for a while, and then I remember when I showed you it, we were just laughing about it, it's pretty funny. So my brother's talking about overkill. Um, it's called over, over blood, right? Yeah. So I think it's called over blood. It was a game on the regular PlayStation. If anyone out there has ever played it, it's, it's an awesome game. But there's a little robot that you meet up in there, and uh, his name is Peepo. Just checking my baby monitor real quick. Sorry about that. So yeah, his name is Peepo, and he ends up... Well, I can't give, it a little, can't give away the game, but pretty pretty cool. Check it out. Um, not sure if anyone will really play it, but... <laughs> Official decree by order of the Lord Regent, Regent. Effective immediately. All access to Dunwall Tower is hereby restricted to official traffic. Via water lock only, the front gate is sealed with no exceptions. The order issued from the office of General Tobias with the full authority. Overblood, there might be a two, really? Dude, if they make Overblood two, that'll be amazing. So yeah, I think I might just have to... Let me see, let me check these optional. Find the broadcast control station. So yeah, I mean, I think everything's going to be um, inside of that tower. So let's go ahead and head over there again. Um, like I said, sorry it's taking a little bit longer. I'm just trying to trying to do everything that I can as far as objectives and whatnot. So but we'll go ahead and head over there now. I think everything else is inside. It seems like I've killed everyone out here. Definitely have to use my... You know, I'm, I haven't even really used the spring razors. I have a lot of stuff to use in here, so I better use it before the game ends. Nice. How's it going, buddy? Yeah, my brother and I were just talking about Overblood. I know I, I think I've asked you before if you played it, and I think you said no. All right, so let's go ahead and head to Dunwall Tower. familiar with it yeah it was a regular PlayStation game really cool um, I mean if you played it now you'd probably be like what but I rented it one day and I ended up playing it and then I ended up showing it to my brother and he played it pretty pretty fun game all right so let's see if we could get these optional tasks in here this place should be pretty big so uh, a lot of guys Obviously. Yeah, this place doesn't look fun. A lot of sneaking around. Uh, let's try to get this finished tonight. Oh, Overblood 2 is in Japan? So, I mean, it was probably an older game as well, right? One down.
Or well, it sounds fun to play if it was accessible. Yeah, I, I'm figuring maybe Amazon Man, um, but it's probably cheap. I mean, it's probably only like fifteen, ten dollars. All that, and you don't have a PS One. My bad. I totally forgot. Yeah, man, I mean, I would have totally kept all my past consoles, but it just sucks, dude, the quality of them nowadays. I mean, I think all of my stuff ended up breaking on me. You're probably aware of that, but... I mean, Xboxes, dude, you know how that went. Good old red ring. Oh, does it? Oh, for the your Xbox yellow lighted, Connor? What's the... I mean, I know that's kind of like it's not as bad, right, as the red ring. Are these mice eating me? Oh. No, the old the first PS3 era has a yellow light. Oh, yeah. So up until my PS3, I've never had a PlayStation um, give up on me, man. And I, yeah, that one, I think the one of my games was in it. Find the broadcast control station. Okay, so talk to the propaganda. So I guess this is the control station. But yeah, man, um, I had a game in it, and I think the disc, the disc just wasn't reading, and I was trying to, I was trying to fix it. <laughs> it didn't end up it didn't end up working well for me man. I fixed it with the low dryer trick but only worked for about yeah man that sucks and it's just horrible like customer service I've always had I don't think I ended up calling the PlayStation customer service but I've always had bad bad experiences with Xbox They're just, they've been horrible with me, man, every time, so. Let's go ahead and go down real quick to that door. So that might be the propaganda officer. Oh, crap, there's another guy in here. Um, just because I do, let's say, before we try to do this. I know I've been doing it a lot this stream, just because it's the, you know, I think it's the last one, and I don't want to mess anything up. Oh, this is the Lord Regent's Chambers. Nintendo is usually good customer service, but their consoles hardly break. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, for as much as I, I don't talk shit about Nintendo, I just, I kind of fell out of it. As much as I, I mean, I've never heard bad things about Nintendo. Nice, I wasn't even 
And I didn't even have my little heart out. Like, I haven't really been searching for these, but... I think, so now I think I can go ahead and get the power of possession. I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. Um, I can possess people, yes. Awesome. Good things come to those who wait. Let's go ahead and put the possession one in that slot, and then of course my little Let's see if it works from this far. Oh, no. Stupid cut. Oh, uh, what? I can't go through the walls? That sucks. What? How did he hit me? I was in slow motion. Oh, nice as a dog. <laughs> I've never seen a dog before. I've heard they've been dropping the ball recently with Amiibos, but I DC about those things personally. Nintendo is usually a good customer. Uh, yeah, dude, I haven't even... I don't know about all that Skylander, because that's what it's like, right? It's basically like the Skylander, the Amiibo. Just making money, dude. I mean... I don't know, that's the way I see it nowadays. I think these I think these guys are just trying to make Because then you have to go out and buy all those little figurines and it's like It's like really? Like I went with my cousin one day, we were um picking up a game that we had um pre ordered, I think it was Madden, and um he ended up buying two of those for his son. I think they ended up being like 30 bucks, man. I have Mega Man, a Zelda, of course, for my collections, but only use them in Smash Rap and really. Yeah, I know I have nothing against getting them as well, but um, just these guys, I think they're just a cash cow, you know? I mean, video games are. I was reading an article one day, and um, I mean, I don't. I don't doubt it for one minute. Video games are like way more popular, way more popular these days, you know. Um, oh crap! You know, I mean, people our age are still playing it. Now you have our kids playing, so there's definitely an influx. Before, where it was just like our generation getting introduced to video games. Now, you know, I mean, I mean, look, uh, I think I'm old. I'm over here still playing video games, you know. <laughs> Which I don't mind for one minute, but um, yeah, dude. I mean, more people are buying, you know. And then you look at, you look at the. Just the di di the diversity, you know, you're going international now. You have tons of other people playing. Whoa, that was that was set up nicely. Um, you know, you have all those other countries playing, and um, so yeah, I mean, I can't really hate. I've never I've never even played it, so I can't really talk crap, but. Um, is it fun? Like, I've never actually played it, so... 